this place. And ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Hey there, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. It is still winter here in New Jersey and I'm getting out to check out a couple more interesting things here. If you remember one of the other videos, we walked a part of the CERT, the Staten Island Rapid Transit, but we had to stop because um, there was the live NJ Transit crossing, which I didn't want to go over. But here I'm on the other side of it and I was going to take a walk. So in this video, we're going to take a look around this part of the CERT. We're in Linden and we're going to see some interesting things. The idea is to kind of show you from last time there was that secret brook, which is the Peach Orchard Brook is the name of it. And I want to show you where it comes from, kind of an interesting little, little uh, way it goes around the way here. So first thing, we're going to try to navigate over here. This is really muddy. You can see here, that's all right. We had a lot of rain this past week and in the last day. So this, there's actually flooding around here and some of the rivers at Sunday haven't crested yet. I just want to take a look and see they've done some maintenance there. Oh, there goes a train. Woo! NJ Transit is moving. In these videos, it's not always easy to show how steep these things are, but they are pretty steep. I wonder what it was like to get this tree cut. It's sad they had to cut a tree that was this large. This looks like an oak tree. But wow, that must have been quite a feat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm almost at the top. This is really neat. <laughs> Look at that. So you can see all the way down to the refinery in Bayway. That's Linden, Linden Ave right down perpendicular. Get a nice little look around. Feel like you're up here with me. And we just, we're getting that extra hour of sunlight. So it's almost magic hour here. So look at that stump. That's pretty, pretty impressive tree uh, arborism, if that's the word, to get that cut. So take a little walk here. I'm always marvel at the architecture and craftsmanship. Someone in the cons probably knows how old this structure is. And if you follow all the way down, that's going to take you all the way uh, through Linden, Roselle, and all the way actually up to Cranford and really into Roselle Park. That, that would be Aldine Junction. All right. Behind me, that's where we stopped last time. See that orange uh, meshes? That's in the, in the last video I did this. We stopped there because, again, this is uh, New Jersey Transit. And, eh, but you can see this is really interesting. So I'm going to take a walk. Let's take a walk and look around. I want, I want you to see what I can see in here. But it's pretty interesting. Although, I'm, again, looking around here, you can see there's actually a, a pass over here. We're going to look at it, but we're not going to go over that.
So, you know, crossing over this would probably be a lot of fun, but yeah, it's gonna, you could get hurt. Possibly, yeah, I'd probably be dead if you fell off of there. And uh, yeah, so, and look at all these, it looks like reminds me of brambles. So this is really difficult to get through. I'm getting stuck. Funny, there's like a little path right here. It looks like, that's probably from deer. Because a human would be getting ripped apart if you walked through there. There goes another train. Oh, spike. Alright, here we go. I don't know. I love being on top of this thing. I just think this is the coolest, the coolest thing ever. I'm just so impressed by this thing. Look at that. I don't know, and I feel bad for it. I don't know how many rings I, I should count them. That's That's a lot. That's an old tree. I'm trying to give it some, get some uh, good vibrations from this. I know. You're saying this dude's, he's a tree hugger, he's a wacko, but it feels good. All right, so I'm trying to get down here. Let's go, let's do this. So until we get, we're going to go across the way here, and I'm going to show you some, I want to show you where that sad little peach orchard brook um, actually goes through and it's interesting because it goes kind of snakes through a place where some people in the area that may have been here for a long time may recognize maybe well, you'll see but before we get to that I th thank you for spending time with with me today and you don't I know you have a lot of other choices you could flip away right now if you'd like to but if you do stay, one thing I was going to talk to you is something that happened, it's happening, I'm seeing it a lot, and, you know, with, with children or daughters, kids, young adults, we're living in a time, there was another one, <laughs> I should have just stayed over there, but talking about our children and living in an age of social media, which is kind of funny because we're on social media right now, right? I'm actually talking to you um, on YouTube. But my point is, a lot of young people's whole personas or personalities or self-worth or egos are developed from um, their, their personas online and you know what they are, who they've created. And do people think it's cool or they approve of it? And I understand that. When I was a young guy uh, growing up, I mean, I couldn't imagine having all this media and so and all these devices. I don't think I could have hacked it. I think I would have been really, really distracted. But so I have empathy. What I'm saying here is what happens is when these children are trying to find themselves, unfortunately, some of the feedback they're going to get is not always positive. And my message to folks and to my children and to myself would be, be like Neo. Now, who's Neo? I'm talking about Neo from the Matrix. Neo from the Matrix, remember when the Smiths were trying to kill him at the end? and they came at him and all these bullets came at him and he just dodged all the bullets, they whizzed past him. So my advice to myself and anybody is, be Neo. Words, as much as you think that they can, they cannot hurt you. Now that doesn't mean we should go and be jerks to each other and you shouldn't go out of your way to hurt someone's feelings because words can't hurt you. What I'm saying is when someone chooses to use words to try to harm you and damage you, be like Neo. You know, don't let the bullets be like Neo. And if you can learn that lesson, you can have a lot happier life. I wish I learned that a lot sooner. And we're all human beings. 
words do, sure, words can sting sometimes, but if you could think, hey, um, they're just words, it may be coming from somebody who we call, uh, you know, sad people. That's how they glean some of their happiness is by making other, trying to get a rise or make other people feel miserable. Just be like Neo. So there's a place here that's, I think it's, this place has been here forever. And it is none other than this place. And ladies and gentlemen, out there dad is not taking you to Cheeks today. But we're going to see where our little forgotten peach orchard brook has gone and it is snaking around Cheeks. Now Cheeks probably has some really heavy duty security cameras and are wondering why there's a guy out here with a camera when there may be people in here that don't want to be seen at Cheeks, which is fine. So we're going to walk away from Cheeks. I'm going to go around the side. And it is magic hour, but the light is fading. So we'll take a little walk. It's interesting, you're gonna see a lot, especially in Union County, there's a lot of space for lease. It's a huge building. It's for lease. It's available if you're interested. So I'm just gonna take a little walk-see over here, because I just wanna take a little look at the Peach Orchard Brook. I've never seen it this close. Now I'm just gonna take a little look-see. All right, and there she is. We got a lot of rain. So someone, I don't know, maybe it's transit came and totally, definitely cut back a lot of this brush. Or maybe it was the county. And look down here, just to give you some reference. That's the Staten Island Rapid Transit. And if you keep going down there, that's gonna be Bayway Refinery. And you can see there is a cargo train parked there I'm sure in the comments, my rail fan friends will say, that's not a cargo train, it's something. I want, I want to know what it is. I'm interested in learning. So if you know what that is, let us know. So here, look at these, you can see this trail ties here, or rail ties. And then you got this funky, <laughs> this is so cool. I, I love this stuff. This is so cool. So you can see the under linden, uh, Ave there, you're gonna see we got a little waterfall there. What else do we have? Let me take a closer look. I don't have the big boots on, but I don't think we're gonna need them. That is the old extension of the railroad here. No rail, rail on it, but the ties are there. And then you have I just love the paddle underneath this, just for grins. And then you have that narrow channel right there. Ah. Oh, this is so slippery on this. I'm not going to stand on that. I would like to walk down there. How would I do that? And you can see here, this looks like, it's almost like another, maybe there was another extension of the railroad here that uh, went over the brook. I guess that was convenient at one point. Probably Cheeks doesn't need any, uh, any short line uh, rail coverage, so they probably don't use it anymore. So, what do you think? This is probably, this is almost as much water as this place is gonna see as far as rains. Maybe dur right during a storm, you might get a little bit more, but I'd be curious to kayak this. It'd be fun, It'd be a lot of portage. But I love these little features like right here, it like spills in there. What is kind of scary is that pipe. I don't want to end up in any pipes. That is not something uh, as part of the part of my aspiration. Yep. 
Yeah, you know, we might say this looks terrible. This looks depressing, but I like it. I, it reminds me of a, of a lost, lost time, history, what this might have been like. Like right here, this is concrete. It looks like it was busted up. Was this some kind of a dam? I kind of want to walk over to the other side of this, but I'm not because I don't want to fall in. Actually, I could make it over there. You know, I don't my boots and I'm not going to jump on that rock right now. Woo. All right, let's go back. Whoop. <laughs> I'll get a little closer here. And then, like this is all, ah, oh, gotta watch my step. That looks slippery here. And there it, look at, see these? Get tore up. We're gonna see if I can get down closer to the water. I'm hoping they don't mind. But this, this is so cool. I mean, I, who would have known this was here? So maybe here. Oh man, that's pretty steep. You know what, the bet, the, that was the best, oh, the best choice was over there. I don't know if this guy behind me is security. Um, this is super cool because I'm not really doing anything. I'm just walking by. I might even go in here for all they know. But they know one thing. I'm not going in here with the camera. See, this is what happens when you give people an extra hour of light. Get, Wow, everywhere you put your hand is like those brambles. They hurt. Ooh, they hurt. So, this is precarious here. Like, a lot of the stuff, like this concrete is just like perched here. It's like, how'd you get here? Time. I think I got. Whoa. I have a feeling I didn't want anybody down here because there's barbed wire. And I'm not out of the. I don't want to get nicked on any of this. All right, I made it down. Woo! Hello. So we're here. Definitely got a kayak in here. Let's take a little look-see. This is where I wanted to see. And that guy in the car is looking at me still. <laughs> it's magic hour. This is a lost world down here. We managed to get under this thing. 
So let's see where we can go from here. I really didn't think about getting out. Although I want to spend enough time to make sure. And look at this, there's, uh, there's barbed wire all these. So this, they definitely didn't want people making passage through here. And you know, I see everything here is so green, meaning there's algae on everything. So I don't even want to, I don't. And I don't have my boots. If I had my boots, this would have been no biggie. Woo, there's a really cool echo in here. Well, man, just to get a little kayak action on here, skidding through, would be pretty cool. Excuse me. All right, so now this is, so you could tell, you could tell by looking here, the water was real high because you can see it's all bent down. Check out this brick. Ah. Oh, look at the cat. <laughs> He's like, what you doing back here, man? I'm just exploring. But what I always like to say is if anybody in the in the distance of my voice can hear me, I'm just looking around. I'm not trying to bother you. I'm not trying to steal anybody's stuff. Woo. You know they can hear me now. Oh, I know where I am now. So it's interesting. I'm going to take another little Look, now here, this is another old passing of a bridge or a train tracks that they closed off. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're running out of time, my friends. Meaning, I don't think this video will be too interesting in the dark. All right. We're just gonna kind of mosey on out of here. Now, one thing I should look for Oh, I didn't think of this. I definitely don't want to run into any uh, animals, if you know what I'm saying. I'm just going to pass through it. So one thing I know is most dogs can't climb that good. So I will just go ahead and climb. All right, so all for my rail fans. I'm a Spartan rail fan. Let's take a look at that. Let's get up there and then we'll let's see if we have any light left. Can I get up here okay? All right, let's try real quick. Oh, there's all these brambles again. I don't know, can I do that? Then maybe it's easier to get back. All right. Take your time. If anybody's wondering, there are not going to be any live trains here. This is uh, inactive, except when they're rolling these trains to storage, I guess. There's a lot of stories about this line, whether it was going to be reactivated. But I believe north of here, pretty much inactive. All right, well, a little cardio. Oh, friends, it's magic out. That is beautiful. You can find beauty when you look for it. Let's 
to check out that train. What do we have here? GPLX78108. I don't know if that's the name of the, the unit identifier. Take a look see on the side. Get a little distance from it so you can see. So, you never know where you're going to find fun. I could say, you might, yeah, this might seem unusual, but for example, this, this car is no longer used, but I like this. I think it's art. It's, it's really, I think it looks pretty interesting. All right, so team, I got lucky. There is a little path here. I don't know if this is for people traveling, or this might be from deer, but I'm gonna use this path to come down. And then I'm gonna actually, oh look, a spike. It's in pretty good condition. Put it down there. Got lots of spikes already. So for my rail fans, get a little bit more idea what these units are oh and you can see they're all going down and you're going to head to bayway to the refinery I'm, I'm sure many of you know what these that was a staten island rapid transit look that's some fresh paint here Now, if we were to continue walking back there where we were, you're gonna get all the way, uh, you're gonna walk over one and nine, Edgar Road, I think it's called. And yeah, and you go right into the Bayway. Uh, so if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you. I hope uh, maybe you're watching this half awake on your TV, or, but for whatever your reasons are, thank you. And keep, Forage, we're going with that forage, we'll keep uh, going forward. I'm not even making this up. There's a bike here. Oh, wow. This is someone's bike. No, this is somebody's bike. The tires have, the pressure's hard. This, so, this is somebody's bike, I'm leaving this. Let me just put it back down. Interesting. All right. If I had to use my detective skills to tell you what happened here, I have a couple theories. First theory is someone found the bike in air quotes somewhere else, rode it here, didn't have a need for it, so they ditched it. Or they are living here close by, watching me, and that's where they keep their bike. But it rains really hard, that's not a good, that is not a good, uh, way to keep your bike and maybe my third option would be they might have acquired that bike uh, in a way that wasn't legal and maybe they uh, they dumped it here because the police were looking for it but I don't know what do you think let me know in the comments I'm really curious but the bike the tires the that bike is good to go so it's interesting who knows it might be might be here somewhere. Uh, 
so all my rail fans i'm not from the time i left over here there have been at least 10 trains have gone by so i was hoping you could see them it's kind of cool watching them uh especially the the uh, amtrak like the acela that's really cool to watch that go by here comes one now I just had to do a little bit of tech support for my daughters. We're, if you didn't know, we're cheapskates and we are, uh, we cut the cable a long time ago. So we only have like internet. So and we have a couple of streaming services, but they want to watch the Oscars. So it's a challenge. So I'm trying to get it. It's on, it's on ABC. We get ABC uh, in the New York area for free. All right, so if you like videos like this, weird walks and anything, then definitely check out this next video right here.